Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all doing well. How was your Christmas? Was it great? Also your new year? Please let me know in the comments down below. Mine was pretty good. I was spoiled as per usual. <laughs> I did switch off from my YouTube, kind of my social media. Yeah, and that felt great. Today I'm gonna be filming my New Year's Eve makeup that I'm actually gonna be wearing this year. I'm not going anywhere, but I just feel like doing my makeup and playing with some new bits and bobs. I actually didn't do any makeup for Christmas this year. Usually I do like to wear a little bit and actually dress up for Christmas, but considering this year, I think it was a good excuse to just chill. And I literally chilled in my pajamas for like a week and it was amazing. <laughs> I was thinking about filming a video like what I got for Christmas and things like that. So let me know if you'd like that. Just give a thumbs up on the video and I'll be certain to do that. I know some people can think it's like bragging and stuff like that. So I just wanna get your gauge on it. But I do personally love those videos myself. So I might do it anyway, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the makeup. I'm thinking about doing my hair in this video as well because why not? I love a bun vibe, but I really want to do some like massive curls. And yeah, I just thought it'd be something different to add into the video. But let's get into the makeup first. I'm going to be doing my eyes with the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette, which I've heard so many people talk about. Um, and this was like £7.50 on Beauty Bay. It was so affordable. I got it on the sale. Look at the colours in here. This has like the full vibe that I'm going for today. I want to do kind of like a graphic look that I've seen a few people do on Instagram. Make by Missa did one recently. So I'm kind of copying, kind of taking inspiration. Don't really have my imagination head on, you know? So I just thought I'd uh, do what I'm inspired by. I am really excited to make my face look just different today <laughs> just get glam but before we do if you are new welcome I hope you decide to subscribe do a lot of random makeup content on here trying new products just being a general buffoon <laughs> Yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, then feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. New year, new start, you know, new people. That would be great. <laughs> Without further ado, let's zoom you guys in and get onto these eyes. All right, so I'm kind of being blinded by my softbox right now. So uh, we'll see if I can do good with these eyes whilst being blind, you know. <laughs> also, I have like zero clean brushes right now which is great. I really need to just clean them all. I'm thinking about trying Jamie Genevieve's trick that she showed with the sieve and just doing like a load of them <laughs> in the sink. This is the Sigma eyeshadow primer by the way. I've been quite liking it. I do have other things that I like also but this is good. I also just love like the Barry M concealer as a primer because it tries to matte. But if you have the money to spend on an eyeshadow primer this one is a really good one. You guys are a little bit Mm. Is that better? Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay. I know we're doing eyes first, but I just want to quickly throw on something on my skin. So I'm going to use the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion Primer just to feel a little bit refreshed. I do really like this primer, so I use a lot of that product actually. I am going to be doing like a video of like my favorite makeup bits of this year, I think. I'm always late to doing those kind of videos, but I think I'll upload it in like the beginning of January, you know? All right, so let's get on to this palette. The dress that I'm supposed to be wearing is green. So I was thinking about some of these teals, maybe using that minty shade like on the inner corner. Let's just go with it, shall we? The first shade I'm gonna use is Hex, which is just a black. We're just going right on into it, you know? I'm gonna create my outer wing shape out here with this shadow. We go in very far out by the looks of it. And then I'm gonna do kind of like a swoop back in. Okay, and I'm gonna stop around there because I don't want to bring the black in too far. And I'm just gonna bring this in with a little bit of a bigger packing brush. Just start to actually fill in this gap. This is a pretty decent black, you know? If you really wanted this to be like super sharp and crisp, I would highly recommend using a liner first. I can't be bothered to do that. <laughs> So I'm just doing it with the shadow. I have kind of like a little swoop thing going over here. So I'm just gonna use my finger to drag that out a little. All right, the next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Bewitched. And I'm gonna start this just kind of like the beginning of the inner third and then graduate it back. I'm just kind of winging this. Ooh, it's 
a very pretty teal shade. Placing this like above my crease and I'm just gonna join it up with the black. I'm probably gonna go over this with a shimmer also. I just wanna create like a base color, you know? It's like a deep Tiffany teal, like a deeper version of that. It's very pretty. I'm gonna try going in with the shade Cursed. I'm gonna start more of a gradient on this outer corner. Ooh, that is very pigmented. <laughs> Just gonna focus in it more on the black rather than the blue to get the blend going and then start flicking in and hoping that they all blend together. <laughs> Been kind of sleeping on this palette and I'll tell you why guys. <laughs> because I'm so overwhelmed with how much makeup I've still got to try. My collection is getting a little bit overwhelming, but that does mean that I think the first few videos of 2021 is going to be me sorting my life out, doing other clutter, organizing things so I feel a little bit better about my collection. I've already sent like a parcel of things to my friend, just products that I don't use anymore. I've done a little bit, but that's just like a, not my active collection that I actually go through quite a lot. I think a declutter is very much needed. Yeah, this is blending beautifully. Kind of adjust the shape a little. All right, so before I go in with the shimmer and stuff, I'm just gonna do the inner corner because I'm doing a color for the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the shade Wish, which is this pastel teal. And I'm going to pop this here. You know, considering this doesn't have a white base, it's actually pretty good. And I'm just gonna join this up with this blue in here. I am pressing quite hard in the palette to get the payoff, but it's come out pretty well, I'd say. Can somebody please tell me why? I have Shania Twain that don't impress me much <laughs> in my head. Anybody that don't impress me much. Just gonna go in with a little bit more of this cursed shade and just gonna bring it on more of an angle down here. Okay, so now what I'm thinking is it's adding shimmer over top and then maybe some glitter. I do really want to use this color spell from the palette. Ooh. So beautiful. I'm gonna use the NYX glitter glue with it. You Bean here on YouTube does this for all of her shimmers, so I'm gonna try it today. I'm assuming it's gonna make it pop off. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of tap this over top of my shadow and I'm literally just tapping it on ever so lightly. Okay, let's go in to this spell color. I have a feeling it's gonna work better with a finger, but I'm gonna quickly try it with a brush first of all. Ooh, that is so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with my finger. <laughs> it's just so much smoother with a finger, you know? That is Real nice, okay. It's so sparkly. I'm really getting in there with the brush to kind of cut that edge so it's really sharp. I think we're gonna use a little bit of potion as well, which is the blue, just to bring in some of that blue metallic as well. This one seems to pick up a little better on the brush, so I'm just gonna kind of make a gradient with these two. I haven't added any of the glitter glue over here, so it may not pop as much. This looks so beautiful. This was a good choice. <laughs> I really did be sleeping on this palette, guys. I really did be. For the inner corner, I was thinking about using Moonlight, which is just like a white silvery shimmer. But then there's this shade called Crystal, which looks like really interesting. Ooh, is that gonna be too dark for my actual inner corner though? I may put this on like the inner third and then this on the inner corner. Why not? Let's go nuts. <laughs> Let's put this on the inner third right here. That is such a pretty shade. Now I'm pretty much covering up this <laughs> pastel teal shade, but honestly, it was just like a guideline. So this kind of has like teal glitters in it. So it's all merging, you know, they all just like blend together really well. I'm gonna take the Wish shade and I'm gonna blow it out a little bit more because I wanna add the silver there so just want to make sure you can still see that teal and then over top i'm gonna take the shade moonlight not really picking up on this brush that well but i'm just gonna kind of make like a center point so it kind of looks like it's bursting the teal out if that makes sense just try a little 
spray on it. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. There we go. I'm pretty happy with this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and then we'll come back because I think I wanna add some like glitter, liner, lashes, all that jazz. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so <laughs> I went away, did some glitter and did some lashes. A few people that I watch on YouTube have just started a live stream. So I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can <laughs> just because I wanna tune in and watch them. But let's get these eyes done. So first of all, I'm just gonna tight line with Coffee by Beauty Bay. You can use a black if you have one. I just don't have any. So I'm just using a deep brown. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of liquid liner to my lash line just to conceal my actual lash band. And I'm just using the one I always use, which is the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Matte Eyeliner. This isn't my favorite, but I just like that it's a matte black, so I just keep on using it. But I just blend it into the black outer corner that we have. Then I'm going to prime with my NYX Glitter Glue again, just on top of the shimmer. And I'm gonna concentrate this on the middle to inner quarter of my eye and then just fade it out on either side. I'm using the Glitter Skin by Unicorn Cosmetics. I can't see what actual like name this is. It just says glitter gel. Pretty sure this is like unicorn skin or something. It is gorgeous and because of the like teal on the lid, it kind of shifts towards colors that complement it. It's actually a clear or white glitter with green, pink, purple reflex. And it just kind of adapts to the base that you put underneath it. I'm just gonna use this and pack it on top. All right, now that is on there. It looks so cool. I wanted to add a little bit more <laughs> glitter because, you know, can always add more glitter. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this, which I've used so much just in my general makeup. It's the Collections Glam Crystals in the color Cosmic Stars. Yeah, Cosmic Stars. And I'm just gonna add this to the inner third of the eye and then the outer part of the eye just to help with the gradient a little bit more. All right, so. Now that's on, I'm gonna add some lashes. Now these are actually by a new brand that I found. I found it through somebody who I'm actually friends with on Facebook, but she does makeup as well. Her name's Emily Mabel Beauty on Facebook. She does some cool like pop art makeup and ignore my disgusting phone. That, and then she does just like normal beauty makeup, some special effects, but anyway. <laughs> She talked about these lashes. These are pound lashes. They're vegan faux mink lashes. They have like 3D and 4D lashes. They're literally like pound fifty. They're ridiculous. These ones I'm using today are 4D obsessed. They're just so like full, fluffy, layered. Like, <laughs> I can't believe how cheap these were. They're so soft. And also they feel like real hair. And the way the hair's actually tapered is amazing. Some of the like more fuller styles because of the tapered hair, I can wear them with my hooded lids. So if you have hooded lids, I'd suggest definitely checking these out because they're so affordable. It's one of those things where I feel like you can like take a punt at anyway because you're not gonna break the bank. They came really quickly. Sorry, I've got glitter on my lash. <laughs> they were nicely packaged. Like I'm just kind of obsessed with this brand. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna trim these and then apply them. Before I apply them, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. I'm using the Falsies by Maybelline. Okay, so lashes are on. Let's do the skin. I need to take off any glitter that's on my face. And yeah, let's do the skin now. I'm gonna go back in with this, but just on like a face cotton brown thing to sweep up any fallout but Welsh suggests to do this so I'm just gonna try it and see how I feel. It's supposed to be so it doesn't like affect any prep work you've done which I guess makes sense. Now I've done that I'm gonna use the Origins Pore Perfecting Primer. I have not found another primer that does what this does. This is like the best pore filling primer. Just apply a little bit. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh and also I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh foundation as well. I really like this texture and the color. And I've actually been using this like a lot and I've been wearing makeup. I've just wanted to reach for this. It's like out of all of my stuff, 
I'm just excited to use this formula. And maybe it's because it's like new to my collection and stuff, but it just works really well. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a second layer to thicken it up and then i'm gonna use the pretty fresh one i'm just gonna do like a light layer first of all on a do a fiber brush i have glitter on my hands <laughs> i might end up embedding glitter onto my face now we shall see now i've applied like a little light layer with the do fiber i'm gonna go with a little bit of product on my sponge and just kind of go over it a little bit And now I've done that, I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. I cannot wait to do my hair at this point because I feel like I look like a literal floating potato. I mean, a sparkly floating potato, so I guess it's a little bit better, but. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of contour with the Fenty Matchsticks in Amber. Let's kind of chisel me out a little. The eyes are dramatic, so we're gonna have to make this dramatic too obviously. I think applying this onto a brush and then applying it to your skin is far easier than just going in straight with the actual product in itself. Now I've kind of chiseled a little bit I'm just gonna go over with my foundation brush just to blend it all in seamlessly you know. There's no extra product I'm just using the excesses on the brush and then I'm just going to chisel out my nose a little bit or try and even it out more like. Try and make it a little bit thinner today. I don't usually do that just feel like going a little bit extra you know. <laughs> and I'm also gonna do my lips as well don't worry I'm gonna soften this it looks a little bit insane right now. There's fireworks going on outside for New Year's so sorry if you can hear that. just gonna soften this again with my foundation brush there we go okay so now I'm thinking about blush I'm torn between using peach sugar by Mitchell or Fenty peach poppin which I've used quite a bit this one's more peachy this one's more pink I think I'm gonna have to use the Mitchell it's just gonna work better with the eyes I think just gonna stipple some of this on I think and put it mainly like back here I don't know if I'm gonna do anything on the lower lash line I like can't make up my mind just add in some on the perimeter of my contouring slash bronzing that I did and I'm also gonna put some on my nose because why not Ooh, that was a mistake I managed to put a lot on that I haven't actually set my under eyes yet have I well I haven't set anything just gonna set my under eyes real quick oh no pressing glitter into my face. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier powder and get this all done. These lashes are like really big. I keep like hitting them with like my brushes and things. I'm going to quickly set the rest of my face with the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. This is in the shade Fair. I'm just gonna push this into the skin. All right, I'm gonna go eat because <laughs> my tea's ready. Um, and then we'll come back and finish up the rest of the face with like highlight, more blush, and the lips. I may do my brows off camera though. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I went away, had a snack, and I've done my brows, and I also finished off this eye. I decided to put something on the bottom because I didn't feel right without it, so. <laughs> I wanna add a little bit of bronze, I'm just gonna use Fenty. Just a little bit to just warm me up a little bit. For highlight, I'm so excited for this one. I've managed to get a hand of the Jaclyn Hill Highlight Quad. This is in The Flash. I'm so excited to play with this. I'm not sure what color to use. Let's see, let's swatch them. Oh, it feels so nice, oh my gosh. I'm thinking about using this maybe on the cheeks. Very hard decision, guys, very hard. I think I'm gonna try iced first. Let's see how it goes on. Doing it very gently, because I know these are supposed to be like, you know, very intense. Ooh. Okay, I can just about get away with that one. The finish on these is insane. Okay, so glad I picked these up. I'm going in with the shade Gleam, which is the lightest one from the palette, and I'm just gonna put this on like the highest points. Ooh. So pretty, oh my gosh. I'm gonna add this one to the tip of the nose, just for a little pop on the usual areas, you know. All right, love that, insane. I think I'm gonna go in with like just a tad more blush and I've got this one to try. This is by Beauty Bay, just their blusher. I must say this feels very cheap, <laughs> but let's hope the actual product is decent, you know. It looks very pigmented. <laughs> just tapped off like a lot of excess. Ooh, very pigmented, okay. Oops, like I'm barely touching my skin right now. But I'm just kind of like veiling it over my 
highlight so it all like blends together you know but I don't want to pull this too much so I'm almost using like the side of the brush here to just blend it in just to bring what's like already on my cheek across it's a very lovely color though I want to try this maybe just by itself without like a color underneath and see how it works just alone I'm just gonna go over with my powder brush to calm this down a little bit all right I'm gonna go over top with the pretty fresh spray just because I really like this spray All right, highlight, blush, bronze. Do we need to do anything else? I've set it all. No, I think we can finish off the eyes. I'll do lips last. Let's do it. I also need to change up my battery, so we are back. <laughs> all right, so let's finish up these eyes. First of all, I'm going in with the eyeliner by Beauty Bay again. <laughs> Just bought a load of them and this is in the shade peacock which is a metallic finish but it's a beautiful teal green so i thought i'd go perfect with this but i've only lined the half of the lower lash line so i just bring it across and then i'll buff and blend it out and then i did bring it just below the lash line into the actual lashes as well but then i'm just smudging with this brush joining it up on the outer corner then I'm going back in with the shade Bewitched and I'm just going to just lightly blend it out. I didn't smoke it down very far or anything, but it's just to blend it out ever so lightly. And then I also bring it in just slightly further than when I start on the actual liner. For the inner corner, I went in with the shade Vanilla just to actually put something on the inside of my eye. And then I just extended my inner corner ever so slightly and I've just used my matte liquid liner to do this. And then I'm also gonna go over my lash band as well just to conceal it a little bit. Add some lower lash mascara. And that is it for the eyes, literally really simple on the lower lash line. Yeah, let's zoom you guys back out and do some lips. I know what lipstick, lip gloss I wanna go with. I can't decide on a lip liner though. I'm gonna try NYX Sandstorm and see how I feel about that. I'm feeling this is like a little bit too neutral, but hopefully with my lipstick on top and everything, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go in with Doll Beauty Golden Gal. It's such a nice color. And the finish on these, is so nice very moisturizing i have a feeling the lip liner doesn't really go though i would usually use toast from premark so i'm just gonna toast the edges a little bit <laughs> And even though this is like quite a glossy lip just by itself, I'm gonna use the iconic London gloss in Love Struck. This color goes perfectly. All right, so this is it. This is the finished makeup. So now I'm gonna do my hair because this needs help right now. Oh yeah. Ooh, my hair smells nice though. I had a bath with a lush bath bomb. So it smells pretty good. Does not look the best though, you know? That was the wrong way. That was intense. <laughs> Supposed to go backwards, okay. So I have new hair tools to play around with that I got for Christmas. I washed my hair yesterday. I just let it dry like in a bun. And I just wanna do like really loose waves. I'm not gonna section it all that much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sexy. Mm. Just gonna spritz with a little bit of Tresemme. Protection, always wear protection guys. <laughs> in every scenario, you know. So I bought the Mark Hill like wand component that you could switch out the different heads. So for Christmas, I asked my partner to buy me some of those attachments and I asked for this one and it is ridiculous, you guys. It's the extra long jumbo attachment and well, look how massive this thing is. But I'm gonna try it today. I may even pin my hair just so it kind of sets for a bit. Let's just see what it does shall we i mean i'm just assuming it's going to be big bouncy curls which is what i want so we shall see there we go there's one i'm gonna do it alternating so we get a little bit of a mixture with the curl i like the fact that this is all like one whip just because then i think you get like more of an even curl you know i mean i literally have no idea what i'm talking about so <laughs> please ignore me oh this one's falling out just pin you back up mm. cute okay well i'm just gonna continue this <laughs> on the rest of my head and we'll see what it turns out like <laughs> all right let's do 
another layer. <laughs> I do have quite a bit of hair, so uh, it's just taking me a little bit of time. Oh, that one worked quite well. Cute. <laughs> I think this is the waiver that I really needed in my life. crucial part. I don't see why I decided to film this, I don't know, because this is not going to be interesting to anybody. <laughs> I am just going to make sure there's a lot of volume at the top crown. Done somewhat of a part, not really. <laughs> I barely part my hair. Is that bad? Pretty much do the top part of my hair like facing away from my face like all the time. Rarely bring it towards me unless I'm going for like the glamour curls which I rarely do. <laughs> I'm literally using my monitor as my mirror. This could be going pretty badly and I would not know because I do not have a mirror. Why I can hear people like having parties outside can we not be doing that in a pandemic just a, just a thought you know all right so this is my hair all killed I'm gonna wait five minutes. I'm gonna go get changed um, and then we'll reveal the hair together and I hope it turned out okay because I just curled straight on top of my frizzy hair. So <laughs> let's hope it smoothed it out a little bit. All right, so I got changed into my dress, feeling very glitzy and glamorous, um, but let's take out this hair, shall we? Ooh, they look like big bouncy waves. I'm excited. I realized how forest green this dress was. I thought it was more teal in my head. I probably should have looked at it before I started filming, eh? Oh, <laughs> that one was so bouncy. I don't even think words came out of my mouth then. <laughs> that one was so bouncy. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oh, no, I found one. <laughs> okay. Let's just shake my hair around a bit. They are big and bouncy. Yay. You know how long I've been trying to get my hair like this like style of curl? It just never would be this like big because the barrel was too small for how long my hair is right now. I added some dry shampoo to add like a little bit of volume and I just kind of like brushed it out a little bit. So that jumbo wand, even though I made fun of it, it's given me what I wanted, so this is the finished look, okay? <laughs> I've like literally been filming for like four plus hours at this point because I was so distracted, so apologies. <laughs> I'm very aware you can probably see a grey cast, which is so annoying. <laughs> but you know what? We're all friends here. I've already told you. I've <laughs> dry shampoo in my hair, so what does it matter anyway? You guys already know the secret. <laughs> all right, so that is it for this video is something fun something sparkly for the new year or for whenever you feel like this because this is definitely going up after the new year <laughs> well i'm gonna try and get this up on new year's day so the first which is friday so i hope you guys had some fun celebrations or at least played maybe some games or something you know just to have like a nice night in when we can't go out and celebrate properly i'm probably gonna go watch the countdown it's almost 10 o'clock so in two more hours it will officially be the new year 2021 we hope to see better in you <laughs> and yeah i hope to be more organized i hope to get more videos uploaded i hope to grow here uh and i mean i think anything is gonna be better than this year fingers crossed like i don't want to jinx us 
but hopefully we'll have a better year next year. Thank you guys for supporting me this year and thank you for joining me if you're new. Thank you for supporting me in whatever way you do. Just watch my videos, commenting, liking, sharing. Also a special thank you to Olivia and Rosie who are my Patreons. I mean, it blows my mind that people wanna support me like that through Patreon, which by the way, if you are interested, I'll link it down below, shameless self promo. But I do have a Patreon account and I also have an Instagram and Twitter account as well, which is just at Kirial Laura. Yeah, just thank you in whatever way you support me. I'm looking forward to more makeup, more content, and hopefully I can get a house. <laughs> it's like a goal of mine to be able to vlog. So hopefully I'll do that sometime next year, but we shall see what the future holds. I'm gonna now love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Happy new year. I'll see you guys in 2021. Bye guys. But that does mean that I think the first few videos of 2021 is going to be is going to be me it's sorting my life sorting my life. I think it's a sign. I can't even say that sentence. Not a good one. There's no excess product. There's oh god. There's no extra part. Ooh, I'm just trying the place with the sink. <laughs>